What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you about midpoints and segment bisectors, all right? So let's start with midpoints. So midpoints are just points that divide a segment, like AB, into two equal pieces, okay? And these little lines that I put right here just mean that this segment right here is equal to this segment right here, okay? And our point, we can also label it. So let's just label that with an M. Okay, so here we can say that segment AM is equal to segment MB, okay? Or another more geometric way we can say that is segment AM is congruent to segment MB. Okay, those basically mean the same thing. Okay, so if I wrote segment AM is equal to segment MB, okay, I could also say that as segment AM is congruent. Okay, so this is the congruency symbol, right? So segment AM is congruent to segment MB, right? So these two statements basically mean the same thing. Okay, now let's talk about segment bisectors, okay? And you can probably guess what it is just by looking at the word, okay? So if you look at those part of the word bi, bi means two, right? So if you think of the word like bicycle, how many wheels does it have? Two. If you think about bisexual, you're interested in boys and girls, right? So bi means two and then sectors, right? So we're splitting this segment up into two sections or sectors. Okay, so segment bisectors are basically just anything that splits a segment in half, okay? So here, this point is a segment bisector because it intersects this segment AB in the middle, right? And another thing we could use is a ray, right? So a ray would look something like that and we can label it with a a C, okay, so ray MC here is a segment bisector because it crosses through the center of segment AB, right? It's going right through the middle right here. Uh, another thing other than just a ray we could draw also is a line, okay? And we'll put another label right there with a D, okay? So then line CD is a segment bisector, right? Because it's running straight through the middle here of this segment AB. Okay, something else we could use is a segment, okay? So that's basically a line without the arrows, right? So this, this segment right here, CD, again, is a segment bisector because it's splitting this other segment, AB, right through the middle. Okay, and one last one that I had to draw ahead because I suck at drawing is a plane, okay? So remember, a plane is basically just like a piece of paper, okay? So this segment right here, you can think of a pencil, so this piece of paper, right, this plane, is cutting this pencil right here exactly in half. Okay, so that's why planes can also be considered segment bisectors. All right, so now that we got all that fun stuff out of the way, now let's go over an example. So here the example says M is the midpoint of AB. Okay, so M is the midpoint of AB. Find the length of AM, segment AM, and segment AB. Okay, so we need to find the length of AM right here and AB, right, the whole thing. Okay, so all we're given are these expressions right here. So 4x minus 1, so it's saying that this side right here, segment AM, is equal to 4x minus 1. And this side over here, MB, is equal to 3x plus 3. Okay, so the way we can set this problem up is, remember, the midpoint splits this side and this side into two equal pieces, right? This segment is equal to this segment. Therefore, we can set this side equal to this side, right? Because we know that they're the exact same length. So we're gonna set fx minus one equal to three x plus three, okay? So now let's get all the x's on one side. So let's move them to the left. So here we'll subtract three x from both sides, okay? And let's move the numbers to the other side. So here we have a negative one, so we'll add one right there and add one right there. Okay, so here these three x's cancel out and then here these, the negative one plus one cancel out. So then on the left side we have four x minus three x and that's equal to just one x, or just x. So we get x is equal to, so we're just left with three plus one which is equal to four. All right, so here we get x is equal to four, okay? So in order to figure out the length on this side all we have to do is plug in our answer for x right here into this expression, right? So we're gonna have four times four minus one, okay? So four times four, that's equal to 16, so 16 minus one is equal to 15, all right? So our answer right here, or the length of segment AM, right? This, the length of segment AM is equal to 15, 
okay? Now this side should be equal to this side, right? So when we plug in x into this expression right here, we should also get 15, right? So let's do that. So we'll get three times four plus three, all right? Three times four is equal to 12, and 12 plus three is equal to 15 also. Okay, so since we got the same length for both of these, that means we did it right, okay? So the length of AM right here is 15, and the length of the whole thing, AB, right? The length of segment AB is equal to 30. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful, so definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.